happy Friday. It's a long weekend here and you guys really loved the summer week of my life where I tried to kind of complete as much as I could off my summer bucket list. So I thought we could keep it going. And I really wanted the theme of this video to be making the most of summer, actually completing things on my summer bucket list because I can't be the only one who makes summer bucket lists. I think it's gonna be the best summer ever. And then I just like don't do anything because I get caught up in just everyday adult life. And I feel like I'm just kind of yearning for that nostalgia of summer as a kid and trying to recreate that or create new memories and feelings for summer. So anyways, we have a funny, it's not actually that funny, funny story to start it off with, but this vlog actually started yesterday morning or it was supposed to. And I always say, I'm gonna go watch the sunrise at the beach. I, I just never do it. Cause you have to get up at like four, 4.30 in the summer because the sun rises around 5 30 and the best time to see the sunrise is like half an hour before the sun actually comes up i always say i'm gonna do it and i never do so i finally committed matt and i actually placed a bet because i knew that would be the only way for me to do it and whoever lost the bet had to give the other person 50 bucks so i did it because there was 50 bucks on the line <laughs> so i got up around you know 4 20 the beach is only like 10 ish minutes away but i wanted to give myself time to like make a coffee and i wanted to be there super early because i swear out of nowhere night becomes morning and the sun just starts rising and it's just you don't want to miss it it was so beautiful and peaceful to be awake while kind of everyone else was still sleeping there's just something so special about getting up before the rest of the world and having that really quiet alone time and it was such a beautiful start to the day i felt very calm it was nice to be up early However, I crashed so hard. I didn't get to nap, but I was a zombie all day because as you guys know, I'm also a night owl, so I don't go to bed early. So I went to bed like midnight. So I was running on like maybe four hours of sleep and I was so tired. And then we spent the whole evening at my parents getting the backyard ready for the reception. And so I was a zombie. I honestly had like two coffees, an energy drink. I was so tired. So anyways, it's not actually that funny, but I was supposed to start the vlog off yesterday and I didn't. But here we are now. Hello, happy Friday. You gotta make the most of your weekends and your days off, but there's also this fine balance of relaxing and also doing things. And as like a big introverted homebody, that's where I struggle because I would be so happy to just sit on the couch or sit in the backyard all weekend and enjoy summer that way. But then I also wanna get out and do things. So I'm trying to say yes to more, but then also keep that balance of recharging the way that I recharge best, which is kind of like alone and at home. So anyways, yeah, welcome to the vlog. It's currently Friday morning. I am working today. Uh, if you guys are new here, I work a part-time corporate job, so my hours kind of vary, but I am working today. And on days that I work, I like to find little summer things to do, usually at home, that just because, you know, you don't have too long of a lunch break or anything like that but if it's after work we're happy to like get out of the house and go so some of my favorite things to do just to kind of like keep it fun in the summer are to turn on the sprinkler and just go run through the sprinkler at lunch spending time outside with the dogs whether it's reading in the hammock or drinking my morning coffee outside going for a walk what else oh i love to just like color outside like with the coffee just really spending time outside in the sun anytime that i can during my lunch break before work and after work and then of course there's fun things like going paddleboarding or going to the beach or doing fun summer activities like an outdoor concert that you can do after work and on weekends so speaking of outdoor concerts we are actually doing something quite impulsive and spontaneous of us but we couldn't really like resist you guys know we love no con i've been a huge fan since like 2018 2019 forever is actually our wedding song i don't know if i've ever said that but yeah it's our wedding song he is playing tonight in oceaga which oceaga takes place in montreal we live just outside of ottawa so it's about like an hour and a half two hour drive and i actually worked with aperol spritz over on instagram recently which is such a like dream come true very like on brand collaboration for me you guys know we love our spritzes and they actually asked if we'd be interested in attending any music festivals this summer. And as you guys know, I have PTSD. I don't do well with crowds, but I'm slowly taking baby steps and kind of pushing myself. I gifted us tickets to go see Noah at Oceaga tonight. So it's also a long weekend and the hotels were pretty expensive and booked up because we ended up getting these tickets pretty last minute. So once Matt's home from work, we're literally gonna drive to Montreal, see Noah Khan, and then just drive right back home. And yeah, it's like really spontaneous of us, but kind of fun. I guess it's kind of similar. I guess if you lived in the GTA and then you drove into Toronto for concert and then drove home. Uh, yeah, so that's like a little wild of us to do, but I'm really excited. And going to an outdoor concert was on my summer bucket list. So 
I'm really looking forward to that. And I think it'll be a fun way to kind of like end off the work week and start the long weekend. And the rest of the weekend will probably be a little bit more low key at home since this is like a big outing for us. I'm gonna work for a little bit longer. And then I think later this morning when I have my second coffee, I wanna go outside and do some coloring. I actually just got a new coloring book because I finished my spring one and I love to do like seasonal coloring. And I got this one, it just says summer coloring book. I think it's kind of like a little, a little bit of a dupe for the Bobby Goods one, but it's just berry coloring. It's kind of cute, honestly. I love doing spontaneous things with Matt and just like living it up in our first year of marriage, you know? So anyways, welcome to the vlog. So excited to have you here and let's just make the most of summer because August is here and August is gonna leave really soon and we gotta live it up, you know? Live it up a little bit. So anyways, I think it's gonna be a really fun vlog. Hello you guys, what is up? I was gonna say welcome back to my channel. This isn't even a new vlog, but it feels like it because I haven't vlogged in so long. I have been feeling so blah and it's so normal obviously to go through waves of motivation and no, no motivation and it's not even that I don't want to film. I've just been in like a life slump, a life funk if you will for a multitude of small reasons that I feel like have domino because I'm such a highly like, sensitive and emotional person. Anyways, yeah, this was supposed to be like a making the most of summer vlog, like living it up when you live nine to five, but it has been raining pretty much nonstop for like a whole week, which I love a good rainy day, especially in the summer, like a little bit of a break from the heat. However, like five, six days is just like a lot. And it obviously disrupts the dog's routine, disrupts my routine. And after a while, you just kind of start to feel like blah about the rain and like, I just need some, some sunshine. And then on the days it didn't rain, it's just been really, really hot here. We've been having, we've had a heat wave honestly all summer and don't get me wrong, I love the heat. When it's like 100 degrees out, 95 degrees out, the dogs can't really be outside. Like it's almost as bad as rain because the dogs can't really be outside for long. They feel out of routine. They're kind of going a little crazy inside. I was just so excited about it and it just feels like the weather has not let up and I haven't really had the chance to do anything summer related. Then I was kind of getting sad because it's fair season here and I feel like if you live in Ontario or anywhere I guess that has fairs you would know that fair is kind of like not the end of summer because we still have three weeks left of August but this is the first year that I'm kind of not 
really excited for fall and I know when falls here I will be but I've just been really really enjoying summer and I feel like it's going by so fast and maybe that's just like being an adult and all that but like it's just going by so quick and I feel like now that we have a backyard and we're so close to the beach I've just been I've always been like a summer lover but you know growing up we you know you guys have seen my parents backyard we have like an acre we had a pool growing up I love summer and then I moved out we didn't really have a backyard so I feel like we weren't really outside much and I was always kind of like man like summer's fun but like I want fall to come and now that we have our own backyard and we're outside doing things and I feel like the great thing about summer is that so many outdoor activities are free. Like I just don't want summer to end. And it's kind of the first year in a long time that I've been like, wait, fall, like I don't want you to come quicker. I want to just enjoy summer and I want to enjoy summer, but the weather is just not good outside. And like I said, out of the last seven days, I think it's rained like five or six. And so I just have so much I want to do, but I can't do it. And I've just been like, kind of like, Ugh. so anyways, that's how I've been feeling. Just a little, a little, funky funky girl slumpy moment which is normal it is what it is but I'm ready to get out of it now and I'm trying to think of what we've done in the last week the last time I talked to you guys we went to Noah Con, which was so much fun I am so glad we did that Matt and I were like on a high for the whole weekend because we were like we can't believe we just did that we're not very I wouldn't say we're not spontaneous we're not very spontaneous people honestly and stuff like that like driving you know almost two hours to a concert going to see a concert and coming home we would never really do we would probably have just like stayed overnight and we were planning on staying overnight but it was a long weekend and hotels were really expensive and old us would have just been like oh we just won't go then but we're just trying to be more spontaneous and like just live it up while we you know don't have a kid or we yes we have the dogs but the dogs are fine home alone and just kind of enjoy life a bit more and for both of us something kind of like I wouldn't say switched after we got married but we just are really a lot more intentional with the quality time we spend together and we're kind of just like doing more and saying yes to more which is so fun we're in like a say yes era but also like a balancing saying yes and saying no era we got a great metro spot we were in and out no crowds nothing we were home by like 12 30 it was such a fun night and we were kind of just like on a high for the rest of the weekend and we had planned to go to the beach and we planned like I said I was gonna film a whole summer weekend vlog it was gonna be so much fun and then it ended up raining pretty much the whole weekend um and it was just so hot out so Saturday we went on a little coffee date we found a new coffee shop so we did kind of check a few things off the summer bucket list I think we actually did two new coffee shops that weekend and then on Monday it was actually a holiday it was a stat here and we were planning on going to the beach but then it was pouring rain so Matt was like hey let's go cross the border you know we're only like 35 minutes away so he was like let's go cross the border I had a few packages to pick up so we went we got coffee at a new little coffee shop we found we had some Taco Bell we went to you know the grocery store we went and picked up we didn't get too much just because I had just obviously crossed the border into the huge shop when I went to visit Brianna. But it was really fun to just get out of the house for the day, especially because it was raining and gross out. I mean, honestly, I will say we really made the most of the weekend despite the weather not being so great. But I was just so excited because I was so excited to go to the beach and do all these like fun outdoor things. And that kind of like led me into a bit more of a funk. And then I got my period. So, you know, I was just like cranky on day one. I was just like cranky. And it's been, like I said, raining all week. And uh, yeah, we're supposed to get like record rain today, like 100 millimeters or something. I think it's from the Debbie, Hurricane Debbie or Tropical Storm Debbie. So that's kind of a bit of a bummer. That's kind of what's going on. I don't know why I made a tea. It's like warm out. Like, you know when it's kind of comfortable summer morning and you can wear a sweater? That's like the perfect temperature to me and then it slowly warms up but i don't know why i made a hot tea because it's kind of warm out but i guess i'll drink it now but anyways i felt my feelings for a few days i was in the slump for a few days and now i'm just like ready to i wouldn't say i'm out of it i very much still feel in a slump but like at some point you gotta you know kick it to the curb and move on and that's exactly what i'm gonna do i think we're gonna have a really fun weekend cheers happy friday we're gonna have a really great weekend i'm manifesting it now but let's go work for a few hours. Hi guys, hello. You would think it's been two minutes since I talked to you, but it's actually been eight hours. I'm just wearing the exact same outfit that I was wearing at 7.30 this morning. I went to the gym, I worked, I got groceries. Matt's home, here we are. <laughs> can't do that on camera. So anyways, this was on, what is that called? What is it like a, a lightning deal or something? A lightning lane. No, a lightning lane is a lightning deal. It was anyways. Multi-pass. <laughs> I bought our Disneyland tickets today. Okay, anyways, we bought this 
picnic blanket that you can fold up on a lightning deal for like $16. And I want to see how big it is. Oh, that is, oh wow. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty big for the beach. Yeah, and I have to afford it. I know, shoot, why did I do that? And I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you're yeah, doing it. Doesn't really matter. And then you're going to fold that in half, maybe? And then where's the Velcro? Woo! I'm trying to see him. You got it all back. 10 in. minutes later. <laughs> so, anyways, I need to go pick a book to read because the thunder is thundering. And this is like prime reading weather. But I just got to decide what mood I'm in. And I don't really have a way of determining it. I just look at my bookshelves until something calls out to me, honestly. I definitely feel like reading a physical book. There's something about reading a physical book when it's like raining and storming out. But I just need to go decide what I want to read. Normally I would pick a library book first, but I don't really have any good ones right now. Some days you just need to have iced coffee in a wine glass to feel fancy, honestly. The Chameleon Cold Brew containers are really great to reuse. They're just like the perfect size to make cold brew at home. I think Matt just uses the McDonald's coffee and it works great, honestly, for cold brew. The color today. Oh, that is the perfect coffee color. Absolutely incredible. 10 on 10. Divine. So I have to say that after trying all of the Delight cold foams, the caramel is my favorite. The sweet and creamy, which is only available in the States right now, is my second favorite. And the vanilla is last. The vanilla one tastes really artificial to me. Matt, would you agree? What? That coffee. Look at that coffee. We're going to the beach to try and fix my bad mood. Because I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You know when you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you can't do anything to fix it? That's how I feel right now. So we're going to the beach. I feel like I'd change up my beach bag just like based on what I can grab. So I got the Trader Joe's bag. We've got our new like little picnic blanket, but I feel like it'll be good for the beach. We'll bring our beach chairs. We're gonna go to the beach that is a little bit further from us just because it's a lot bigger. I think Matt just put his Kindle in here. I've got my Kindle. I'm not even reading a summary beach read. I'm reading from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Cape Cod chips. I got this little toiletry bag. It just has a bunch of different sunscreens in it. I like the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch. Matt likes the Sun Bomb. I have a hand sanitizer in here. Got a beach towel. I think we only need one just because we have that picnic blanket, but just to like dry off after the water. I feel like if I were to get another boat tote, I would get the large one for the beach. I've got my hydro jug and I think we're set. All right, let's go to the beach and turn this day around because I don't know why I'm cranky. That's like the worst when you don't know why you're cranky, but you just can't shake the crankiness. That's just how I feel right now. Like I'm just so cranky for no reason. I got a good sleep. I don't know why I'm cranky, but I should be happy because it's sunny today. So let's go to the beach.
Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I'm quite tired today. I stayed up for D23 last night, which was so worth it because we got so many good announcements. I'm so excited. I kind of had a feeling we were going to get a bunch of good announcements though, just because of Epic Universe opening at Universal. And if you guys are new here, uh, I like Disney, okay? I do. I like Disney World. Okay, sue me. Let's let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? At D23 is basically kind of like a fan expo that happens and they usually announce like the new movies, new rides, all that kind of stuff. I'm probably most excited about Monsters Inc. coming to Hollywood Studios because obviously I'm a huge Monsters Inc. fan, but Matt and I are also huge Cars fans and so I'm really excited about Cars and Frontierland. I'm just so excited about everything and I literally guessed villains. I guessed villains as a fifth park, but Matt was like, you're basically right. Like they're doing a whole new land in Magic Kingdom. So excited about that. Yeah, but I didn't vlog much yesterday after we got back from the beach because it was a little bit of a chaotic evening. Long story short, we chose to go to a beach that was a bit further from us just because it's a bit bigger and it was like a really nice afternoon. We wanted to swim and like stay at the beach for a while. So we're like, let's go to a bigger beach. That way, you know, it's less crowded. We'll end up staying longer. We were there for probably two and a half hours. It was really, really nice. I read a lot of my book and then we came home and we were home for maybe like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. It was like five. And I went to go look for my Kindle and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think someone stole my Kindle because at one point we were both in the water together and my Kindle was just like on top of my bag. And it was my, like you guys saw my Trader Joe's tote bag. Like it wouldn't have fallen out. Uh, but I was like, oh my gosh, I think someone took my Kindle. And Matt was like, I mean, like, wouldn't be surprised. It was just like sitting on top. I didn't really like think anything of it. Obviously, I have my Kindle, so we'll get there. But or maybe at some point, which we were like, I don't know how it fell out of the bag because it was always in the bag and like the bag never fell over when we were going to the car. But I had it like 10 minutes before we like I was reading and then I put it down. We both decided to go in the water and I was like, someone must have, like come by and taken it. But we were like, let's just drive back to the beach and see if someone like found it and turned it in or I don't know. And so we drove the 30 minutes to the beach, couldn't find it, drove 30 minutes home. And it turns out it was just in one of the pockets of my bag that I never looked in. So that was fun and chaotic. You know, when like your adrenaline kicks in because you think you've lost something and you're not really like, you're kind of chaotically looking for it. You're not really taking your time and all that. Yeah, Matt was like, do you think it's in the back pocket of the bag? And I was like, no, I don't put anything in there. Turns out. It was in there. So then we got home, we kind of like rushed, had dinner, and um, Matt was playing games. So it was a little bit of a chaotic evening. And I ended up just watching The Parent Trap in bed, which is just like such a good summer cozy movie. I love that our side tables are so close to the bed because I can just like lay down and like watch it on the side table. So that's what I did until D23 started around like 10. And now we're here, but happy Sunday, you guys. I feel like I'm slowly getting out of my funk. I feel like I just gotta vlog a little bit every day. And I think tomorrow I need to run some last minute errands for the reception. Uh, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow on my day off. Or At this point, the vlog is what it is. And we're making the most of the sunny summer days that we have amidst all this rain. So that's the theme of this video now. It's a really just like nice slow start to the day. Matt brought me coffee in bed. We like talked about D23 because Matt had fallen asleep last night. Uh, we read our books for a bit. Kind of in honestly a bit of a book funk right now. Heartless Hunter just put me in the biggest slump of slumps. So I think I'm gonna bump it up to a five star read. It was a 4.75 and I think I'm gonna bump it up to a five star. And it just put me in the biggest slump of slumps. And I started my like, tackling my physical tbr video over on like short form and that was the first book that i read for that and i was trying to figure out what book i wanted to read next i was like in a huge fantasy mood so i picked up from blood and ash and i liked jennifer l armentrout's writing but it's so slow i'm like 30 percent in and nothing has happened yet but i'm enjoying it kind of like i just can't tell if it's gonna get better or not and i feel like all the goodreads reviews say like you gotta stick with it but we're like 30% in and I'm like, nothing has happened. Nothing has happened yet. It's supposed to be like a forbidden love. It's kind of, the reason I wanted to read it is because Twisted Games is my favorite book in the Twisted series. It's like a forbidden like bodyguard romance. And a lot of people said that that is kind of like similar to what this is. It's basically about this girl, her name is Poppy. She's like the maiden and like no one can touch her. She's kind of like untouchable. She's very, I won't say majestic, but you know, she's like chosen by the gods. She can't really go do things. She can't have birthday parties. She can't go to balls she can't do anything like this and anyways this really hot guy named hawk gets assigned to be her guard and it just says he incites her anger makes her question everything she believes in and tempts her with the forbidden so 
I think I'm gonna keep going with it. I don't wanna DNF it, but I also like, do I wanna start a new series right now? And then I'm also about, I don't know, a third of the way through Slow Dance by Rainbow Rowell, which is a new release. And it is a book about two best friends in high school who were like secretly in love. They never told each other that they were in love and they come back together 14 years later, Shiloh and Carrie. And basically Shiloh is like divorced. She has two kids and Carrie is in, I think the Navy and they're reunited. It just says the story of two kids who fell in love before they knew enough about love to recognize it. Two friends who lost everything and two adults who feel lost do some work for a little bit. I have a campaign that I have to submit tomorrow and stuff and I'd rather just kind of get my work done now. And then we're gonna go to my parents for the afternoon and for dinner because we just need to do some more stuff to set up for the reception. I think my dad wants us to like hang a bunch of string lights today. And then I'm gonna bring all the decor that we have to my parents and my mom and I are gonna go through it, make a plan. If you guys are new here, um, my husband and I, we eloped in May in Florida, just the two of us. Well, us two and our two best friends were our witnesses, but like no family, nothing. And we knew we wanted to have like a very low key backyard reception. And my parents have a little bit of land. They have like about an acre. My parents hosted our engagement party and they offered to host our reception as well. So we're having our reception this weekend, which is super exciting, but I feel like time is just like crept up so fast and there's so much to do. And then tomorrow my plan is to just vlog in the morning and then get the vlog up in the afternoon for you guys. I'm going to take tomorrow as my day off and then work the whole rest of the week. So that's the update. Those are the books that I'm currently reading. I'm shocked that I don't have a thriller going. I feel like I always have a fantasy, a romance, and a thriller going, but two main reads right now. I'm also still wearing the same sweater because I like hyper fixate on pieces of clothing and it's a little bit chilly out today. I was reading in the hammock with a blanket this morning. It was like the perfect, perfect weather. There we go. Happy Sunday. The bun bun. Yes, I didn't realize that chickens fly. Like, yeah. like, oh, yeah. In my brain, Hi. I'm like, how do you get these chickens back in? And Sylvia's laughing because they fly, right? And I'm like, Hi. <laughs> what are you eating? Hi. They're going. We're getting. You guys remember when I said that I wasn't gonna use this camera all the time it was just gonna be for when we traveled and I was out and about and now I use it every single day because it's just like the best little camera the quality insane it's so tiny so portable I don't have to worry about setting up a big tripod I just love it so much but anyways happy Monday you guys yesterday our whole wedding reception prep got rained out shocker it's literally rained so much in the last week and a half so we ended up just going through all the decor that we have at my parents and then we had schnitzel for dinner because my aunt's in town for the reception. We had our neighbors over or my parents' neighbors over. It was honestly such a fun little afternoon slash evening. And then we kind of designated the rest of the tasks out. Today is my big errand running day uh, before I just have like obviously a busy work week before the reception. I'm not taking any time off. Matt took my dress to the dry cleaners. I wasn't even planning on wearing my wedding dress. However, that was on the intention that it was going to be super hot out and now it's only going to be in the 80s and we have a photographer so now i've kind of pivoted and i'm wondering if if i can get my dress dry cleaned in time if not like it's not a big deal but if i can get a dry clean in time i might wear it for the first like hour or two just because there are a few photos that i want to get with matt and i want to wear it to i think like cut our cake and stuff just get like some nice more formal photos um, I do have my short dress though. It's actually the backup dress I had for our engagement party last year that I didn't end up wearing. So the wine run today, uh, we are doing an open bar. So I'm gonna do the wine run today. I need to go to the thrift store. I'm gonna go to like kind of where we used to live, like the East End. I'm gonna check out their thrift store and see if there's anything I can find last minute. Cause there's still a few things I'm looking for. And then if I don't find them, I'll probably just get them on Amazon, but I'd rather look like one more time. Maybe pop into Michael's, uh, pop into HomeSense. I'm looking for a cake stand and I have not had luck thrifting one that doesn't have like lead and stuff when I've tested it, like older ones. On the way there, I wanna stop at a new little coffee truck. There is a nursery, uh, if you guys know Robert Plant, they're in the East End. Apparently they opened up a little cute coffee truck um, on their like nursery greenhouse, like at the store. So I figured we could go check that out because I need one more coffee shop to check off trying five new coffee shops this summer. So I figured we could like cross something off the summer bucket list today. Then I need to pop into work and pick up, I have a wedding card from my boss from like May. Um, and I've been in the office since May. I probably go into the office like once every two weeks or so, but I just, you guys know I don't have an office, so I don't go into work much. 
but we our paths just like haven't crossed because um our oncologists work at like multiple sites like we have multiple hospitals in our system so our paths just like haven't crossed over or my boss has been on vacation when i've done orientation with our new hires and so i'm gonna go pick it up today then i also want to stop by one of our tax stores and i want to look at getting a new pair of boots i've been wanting a new pair of boots for a while i am some i don't know i feel like I want just like a new pair of boots that like signifies like a new season of life if that I don't know that sounds so cheesy but I've had my current boots since I was probably about 16 and I just feel like I'm entering a new chapter of life and I would like love to wear a new pair of boots to our reception and then just like have those uh mine mine still have a lot of life in them I'm not getting rid of them but I would like love to see what they have I'd love to get something that has like a bit of blue in it so we're gonna go see what they have like I said if they don't it's fine I'll probably just wear my converse again but I wanted to like go take a look and see if they have any boots in my size all right, let's go run some errands. Would say so far we are about a 50 50 on the success rate i did get a coffee so that was successful they only had hot drinks at the coffee truck though which is fine it's just it's getting a little warm out you know when you like incredibly get a hot drink and you're just like sweating that's me right now but that's okay any coffee is better than no coffee and then i just walked around the greenhouse there which just feels like very summery to me even though most of their garden center is closed now because flower garden season is done but i did pick up a few pothos i really like getting them there at robert plant because they're about the same price as home depot however they're usually a lot like longer i don't know what would you call this like a drapey pothos a pothos that's got a lot of droop to it i don't know but this is a hawaiian pothos and then then their smaller pothos are the same like 6.99 they are at home depot but they're usually just a bit more like established usually when you get them at home depot it's just like this part of it which is fine but sometimes i'm specifically wanting like a droopy one is that what you would call it a droopy one for a certain spot in the house so i did get though i was successful at getting a cake stand too which is great we don't even have one at home so i feel like that's a good thing to just have we can definitely reuse that after the reception and then i picked up another frame just to be on the safe side and as you guys saw i just finished up at the tax store and they didn't really have what i was looking for which is okay like i have a pair of boots i was just kind of like oh i'd love to get like you know a new pair that kind of has some meaning to them but they did have what i was looking for but they were square toe and i'm just more of like a pointed toe boot girly i just feel like the square toe does not look good on me because i already have humongous feet but yeah now i'm gonna probably grab something quick for lunch i'm really sad because the wendy saucy nuggets are over and those are like the best thing in the world and figure out yeah what i'm gonna eat and then i gotta go to work pick up this card do a few like quick little things there and then i'm gonna head home i haven't got my alcohol yet but i'm thinking of doing that tomorrow or wednesday like after work just because i'm gonna have to go get my nails done this week anyways so i thought like while i mean i get my nails done in the walmart so i can pick up my cards then or sorry my prints and then i can also pick up alcohol then because there's an lcbo there so i might honestly do that instead oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys we're gonna go to my favorite sandwich shop <gasps> i'm so excited I totally, I didn't forget obviously that it's there, but I'll take you guys to my favorite sandwich spot in Ottawa. It's near the hospital, it's near the general. If you guys live in Ottawa, it's so good. It's like this little hole in the wall in like a gas station. So yummy, I'll take you guys there after. That'll be so good, like a nice little summer sandwich moment. All right, I'm hungry. So let's go get some lunch and go to work quick. We gotta go into the cookie. Just left work it actually worked out perfectly because my boss is away on thursday we usually have our one-on-ones and i bumped into him in the hall and so we just had our meeting like we just chatted everything out there which was great and i just got my sandwich i'm so excited if you have never been go to roberto's corner on 
Pleasant Park and Salem Raw. It's inside a quickie. You get so much bang for your buck. And I just realized now that the last time I was here was actually the week before we left to elope, which that's kind of not full circle, but what a funny coincidence that this is the week that we have our wedding reception now. Anyways, I'm so excited. I'm gonna open my sandwich up. I also got cannolis for Matt and I because Matt and I love cannolis. They smell so good. And I just want to eat it right now, but I'm gonna wait for Matt. I guess we could have split one, honestly. Can you guys see that? Their bread is just so fresh and like one of the best sandwiches I've ever had. And they really load up the meat, honestly. They really, they really do. The sandwich was like $10. Hope you enjoyed running errands with me and coming along on the adventure today. <laughs> We are back home. I'm having a blueberry Topo Chico. These are so good. I got them when we crossed the border on Monday. Divine. The original ones are still my favorite, but these are a close second. I just feel like they're like the best sparkling waters in the world. I didn't get much when I was out today. I was really good. I, I really just picked up what I needed. Got my kickstand at HomeSense. I really love this one. It's got a bit of like an intricate hit design on it. We are doing a Funfetti cake because that's my favorite cake, honestly. I'm such a child. I think it looks so cute on like just like a nice white cake stand. So this was $14.99 and once again, I'll be able to reuse this just like at home. If we ever have people over for someone's birthday or holiday or anything, we can, we can definitely reuse the cake stand. I just picked up two more frames to be on the safe side. I think that bigger one is an eight by 10 and I already have one that looks just like this in the engagement party. So I figured it'd be good to have a backup. And honestly, I can always use a gold frame somewhere in the house, whether it be like a gallery wall or wherever. So picked this guy up. I love the detailing on this one. And then I thought this one was kind of cute and a bit more of a unique shape. I liked the shape of it, but it's around three. Matt will be home probably a little bit later than usual. I'm thinking like around 530 because he's going to drop off my dress at the dry cleaners. And then what else? We're just going to have chicken parm for dinner. I think my parents made schnitzel yesterday. So I think we're just going to do like a little not like fake chicken parm, but like easy peasy. The chicken cutlets are like already cooked. Just put some sauce on them and do some pasta on the side. I honestly kind of like chicken parm like just as it is, like like sauce on the chicken with some cheese, like no pasta. I think it's so yummy. So I think we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna go change and put some comfies on. Probably take the dogs for a walk and then just sit outside in the backyard. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna read next. I feel like I want to read a fantasy and that's the little haul. Not super exciting, but I'm really proud of myself. I really just got exactly what I needed. We get up to this evening. Okay, dinner tonight is, like I said, leftover schnitzel that we turn into chicken parm. And then I'm just having a little side salad with whatever we had in the fridge. I think it was just cucumbers <laughs> and onions and <laughs> Matt, Matt made a little, what would you call this sandwich? Uh, a little buffalo chicken sandwich. Yeah. And I gave him a piece of my chicken parm because at first he was like, I don't want chicken parm, I'm gonna make a sandwich. And then I took my chicken parm out of the air fryer and he said, oh wait, that looks really good. So I shared with him. Can only check, Kindle check. Cushions. Now what are you doing? Why don't you go have zoomies with your sister? Who is barking? I think I'm gonna end this vlog off because I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow. I'm just in a Stella. I'm so sorry that you can't eat that. Got our cannolis. I've already taken a bite out of mine because I have zero self-control. It was delicious. We're gonna get Matt's reaction. No, Stella, I, you can't eat that. I was gonna start a new physical book, but I really gotta just stick with what I'm reading. Because the more books I read, the more confused I get. You need to read Sword of Kaigen. Matt's trying to convince me to read Sword of Kaigen. I just don't think I'm gonna understand it. You're gonna understand it. You think they so? They have a glossary at the back. To That's help. intimidating when a book has a glossary. It's very easy to get to. I think it's going to be so confusing. No, you're going to love it. You think? Ooh, look at that. Anyways, I'm currently reading Ask for Andrea by Noel Illy. It's on Kid Unlimited. I saw a single TikTok about it that, or one of my favorite thriller horror TikTokers. She said this was good. So I picked it up. What are you reading right now? I'm reading Sword of Kaigen. No, you're good. not. You already read Sword of Kaigen. I'm reading. You don't show it that close. No, it's. <laughs> The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwen. Yeah, I want a piece of the cannoli. I'm okay. gonna wait. I'm gonna end the vlog off here. We're gonna read our books, eat some cannolis. We're watching Succession. I don't think I've Succession, that's a hard word to say. One more time. I don't think Succession. We got succession. It. Uh and we're finally watching it. I feel like we've started it so many times we never get through the first episode. Can you end the vlog off? Can you say thanks so much for watching everybody? Thanks guys. See you in the next vlog. Thanks. I love you guys so much. You're the best community ever. 
And so Rooney gives you kisses. Goodbye. Good night.